All right, it's time to see if I can get the first fish in my new boat. And I'm here at one of my big flathead spots. So hopefully a big flathead will decide to drop by and say hi. Now, as you can see, I only got four rod holders and three rods. I brought the Catfish Pro, the Team Catfish, and the Akuma Battle Cat. Hopefully I get a fish on one of them. I've got some fresh skipjack here, chunk pieces. I have incredible luck on chunk pieces at this spot in this creek. In fact, throughout the creek. Battle cat. And team catfish. Time to sit back, relax, and wait. I'll have to see what this looks like on the camera. You guys might only see the back of my head at the moment. If I wanted to, I could put the base in that chair and sit in it as well. Or sit in one of these chairs. Ah! Hey, I kind of like this better. Not bad. A lot better than my other jet boat. I still have some work to do on this boat. I might get rid of this middle rod holder. I think it's actually a trip hazard, or I might lower it. And I gotta get my multi bars in so I can have a full array of rods right behind the boat. But this will do for now. As a quick side note, I don't know if I like these monster rod holder bases. They're kind of loose and when the motor's running, you can hear them like jiggling on the edge of the boat. The ones that were on my Pro Cat, they were solid. Just things I'm gonna to have to work on. Got one. Oh. Whoa. Catfish Pro, first fish. Am I recording? Yep. I was not paying attention. I was just sitting there relaxing. Cool. Really hard to tell the size of this fish on a heavy rod like this. Catfish Pro is a very heavy rod. It's quickly becoming my lucky rod. <laughs> nice little flathead. <laughs> exactly what I was wanting to catch here. Hope they don't hit my truck. I'm close to the boat ramp and a bunch of hooligans there. Open up. Open. Flathead. I love flatheads. Nice flathead. First fish in my new boat. It's definitely a good size one. I mean, it's not monster, but hey, I take them. See if I can give you guys a closer look. Nice flathead. 
cool. Whew, it smells too. All the catfish out of this creek smell really bad. I'm going to get this guy back in the water. Off he goes. More often than not, I get flatheads here on the left side. But I do have this tree here, so I can't really use this rod holder. So I guess they're just put this head out with a catfish pro in the same direction. I don't think I've ever caught one with a head here before. For whatever reason, the flatheads like the chunk pieces in this creek. Although I have caught them on bluegill and bullheads. Or lost one on a bullhead. It wrapped around a tree. So technically I haven't caught a flathead on a bullhead in a very long time. Now what I've got going on here, this is pretty much a catfish highway. I really don't think they stop to live here anywhere. Basically, I'm literally on top of the drop-off. You've got a road and it goes straight down into the water and right there is like a half a foot and right there is about 10 feet. Maybe five, maybe eight, but it does drop down to the back of the boat and then slowly comes up to the other side. And this is a choke point to two open areas. Over there, it kind of opens up and down there, it opens up to a big area as well. So they're all swimming from these big areas, getting close together, and then spreading out a little bit over here. More than likely following the creek channel because it makes a sharp 90 degree turn over there and heads towards the trees way off to the right or to the left of me. So whatever I'm catching here is probably just swimming through, which makes it a good fishing spot. Now let's see if I can get another one or I might move. I don't know yet, I haven't decided. Well, I've been here I don't know, an hour? No bites. Not even channel catfish. I've caught a lot of channel catfish in this creek. And I would figure, you know, they would be pecking on the bait, but they're not pecking on the bait. And I was thinking about moving to another spot. However, we have a bunch of storms heading this way. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera at all. And I really don't want to fish in the rain in my new boat. Not until I get to know her a lot more. Now, before I go to the ramp and pull the boat out of the water, I'm going to try drifting through here. When I first came through here, I had my new Hummingbird Helix 7 Mega on. And I think I saw that flathead on the Mega. And he was not on the bottom. He was in the middle of the water column. So that flathead had to swim down to my bait, turn sideways, and eat it. Flatheads are basically built to see what's above them. They stay down under brush or something looking up to see if something swims by that they can come out and grab it. Which also means I should be using peg floats on all these. Help get the bait off the bottom. In a situation like this, I'm pretty much slacking by not doing that. So I'm gonna get untethered here and float around and whoa, never mind. Ah. Ah. Right when I was going to change up my fishing, another one hit. Cool. <laughs> that was a complete surprise. Whoa. I want to horse him. <laughs> I dragged probably just a little bit too tight. <laughs> Another little flathead. Cool. <laughs> ah! Whoo, that water's cold. Another little flathead. Cool. 
Man, two fish in the boat now. And they're both flatheads, what I was going for. Nice fish. You got some cool coloration there, dude. Awesome. All right, go and put them back in the water. Hope my release cam is catching something. There he goes. That was on another chunk piece. Like I said, they really like the chunk pieces here. I'm still going to switch to drifting here before the rain hits just to see what happens. At least now, the skunk is officially out of my brand new boat. Now all I have to do is catch bigger fish. Well, by golly, I can actually see fish on my new hummingbird fish finder. I had problems with my G2N where it just, it didn't show fish and the side scan wasn't really that good, but I'm seeing the fish, I see the shadows, I'm definitely happy that I gave Hummingbird a try again. With that being said, I can see the rain line, so I'm about to get rained on. So I think it's time for me to reel these up and head back to the ramp. It's been a pretty good short trip. Got me a couple of flatheads. The multibar guy sent me a message that my multibars are on the way. And I have a working fish finder. It's been a good day. And what's even better, I was able to bring you guys with me. As always, I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. And please hit that thumbs up if you like my new boat. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you next time.